Last August, I came here early and uh, the, the Wi-Fi wasn't working. And I was sitting in a room just around the corner here and I was wearing this shirt. I'd, I'd just broken up with a girl the month previous and this shirt was her uncle's shirt and I got it when he passed away. I wanted to write about the breakup and I wanted to write about the shirts. Uh, I've got some items of clothing from them since I got them, but I didn't want it to be too too corny in just writing about a breakup or writing about the shirts and it just at that moment sort of this merger came together with no internet and feeling uh, very raw in, in wearing it and I wrote this poem um, I, I said it to the room earlier on by myself but it's kind of nice to come back here and to, to leave the poem here tonight um, yeah Terry's cotton shirt is pressed on my back. He passed last October. This spun a mental of a dead man, her uncle whom I never met. We joked that if we broke up, I'd have to give back his shirt. Yet we parted a month ago and here I am in the London Irish Centre still draped in him. I wanted to have a mole queen's presence again in this place, on these foreign shores, a little piece of limerick in London that diaspora returned, so to speak, bringing together tributaries contributing from the Shannon and Thames, with names of all the other ghosts washed up, washed away, overseas, submerged. I can't help but feel connected to this stranger, this Terry. At first I was very hesitant about taking his shirts, being conscious of his son's refusal first, yet they fitted me perfectly, connecting me to her too. Engulfing my torso in the way I crave to wrap around her. Was this the shirt he wore when his heart failed him in the Caribbean? under the beating sun in hell or Barbados? Did he dance with Wendy, his wife, in this shirt? Holding her close head pressed on chest where her eardrum would beat to the God-given rhythm pulsing in him before it stopped. Like I wish her head was pressed on my chest now. Listening to my valves, opening, forcing this blood, this oxygen, this breath around me as once in Terry. Where did he go? What did he do in it? Watch his standards. Fish. Play cards. Have a shit. Shave. Eat soup and so forth. There's so much I don't know. And probably never will now. So I wear this shirt to keep him alive in me. Somehow, seemingly, stitching together some meaning. sleep in the boardroom which used to be dormitories yeah. so it's kind of funny to, to, to be coming back to this place where yeah. you can feel the ghosts of old men that would have slept yeah. there and here we are having a little sleep and bringing back this play and this narrative <laughs> their own parents and was, yeah. Camden it's, home for a rough way down there's so many people that come back to you know, there's the people there's the, the Irish communities that are vulnerable and need help but also there's you know a, a, probably a majority of the Irish people living here actually that what they need actually is to come back and kind of reconnect with the culture and have a good night watching quality Irish arts and, and you know that type of thing. I'm coming here and just 
having an open mic session or just a session yeah, so in, in the hub. It's so it's part of them. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a yeah. It's it's. It, I, I suppose it kind of has that charitable impact in both ways. It kind of. That's what it's here. It's here to serve the Irish community in London. I feel like there's more. It's a special place. Um, my home. Yeah. Oh, down and down here. Yes, it's tight. Oh, down. Easy, yeah. easy. Yeah. Yeah. Stephen, have you been interviewed? No, I haven't. And would you something you'd like to do? Um, there was a few around. <laughs> he's all right, he's got a right hooked up. Yeah, he was in. Like this. <laughs> Great. And the cameraman's a big fellow. The cameraman's beautiful. Mm. You know, like he's wearing a pair of shorts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Careful what you say about the cameraman, he's my son. <laughs> <laughs> he's my son. He's my son. You get caught rapping all the time. <laughs> Because I was looking at him, because he's looking at me. Yeah. I was looking at him, he's going, he's like a boy who's going up. <laughs> you know, he's like wearing shorts and he's gorgeous looking. Yeah, he's the, the editor and the director of the show as well as Cameron. Cool. Yeah. You do. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.